by Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video five days ago that Windows 10 and 11 updates KB5009543, that was the Windows 10 Patch Tuesday update that rolled out last week, and KB5009566, which was the Windows 11 Patch Tuesday update that rolled out at the same time, were causing issues with VPN connections, and that was mainly with the Windows 10 and 11 VPN tools that were built in, the built-in VPN tools in both those operating systems. And at that stage, third-party clients were unaffected. Now, yesterday on the 17th of January, Microsoft has released uh, two emergency updates for both Windows 10 and 11, which are called out-of-band updates to address this issue where the built-in VPN is not working in both those operating systems. And for Windows 11, that would be KB5010795, which for both Windows 10 and 11 are optional updates. So if you don't have any issues with your system and you haven't been experiencing this problem, just leave the update alone. Yeah, we can see 5010795 that was installed um, on my device today on the 18th in my region of the world. That's the update for Windows 11 that will address those built-in VPN issues. And for Windows 10, um, it's a similar process. That would be KB5010793, which also rolled out yesterday, the 17th in my region of the world for Windows 10 to address those built-in VPN connection issues and it's also an optional update on Windows 10 so if on Windows 10 you don't have the issue and have experienced no problems just leave the update alone. Now Microsoft says that uh, in their uh, release notes for these updates for both Windows 10 and 11 that uh, KB5010795 and KB5010793 for Windows 11 and 10. And um, those updates address a known issue that must cause IP security connections that contain a vendor ID to fail. And as mentioned in that previous video, VPN connections using layer two tunneling protocol or IP security internet key exchange might also be affected. And that has been now addressed with both these updates that I've mentioned in this video for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. Um, so if you have experienced any of those issues, just go along and download and install KB5010795 on Windows 11 and 5010793 on Windows 10. And uh, for Windows 10, that is all support for that update is for all supported versions of the Windows 10 operating system. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.